Oh, hello. Nice of you to pop in again. I'm um, just going to do the. <laughs> just going to attempt to do the pollen fill from the Peugeot 3008 2010 model. Now we just had a farcical time with the daytime running lights, so we'll uh, see if we can make a pig's ear of this. From what I understand, we start down here. And under the dash, that pops down. Um, under there, get your hand in, that pops. Out. Oh, that's how it comes out was. Right, now this is what we're looking at. Under there, look. Now, this ducting here. That's much better, isn't it? Now we can see what we're doing. I think this ducting comes out. I'm just going to put my gloves on. Don't want to leave any fingerprints, for goodness sake. Okay. Right. Oh, that's what's come out. Look. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's that attached to. If anything. <laughs> Is this right? There you go from here. Well, whatever that does, it's come right off. Had to Google it, I've got completely lost. Um, as usual, I've made a pig's ear of it. This bit up here, which I've taken out, that bit, you don't take this out. That's yeah, completely wrong, because the pollen filter is over there. Now, I'm not sure if we can stick this somewhere. Right, let's put that on there. There's a little flap there which you push backwards or forward to the front of the car and it wriggles out allegedly. Oh, got it. Came out from the back. Alright, there we go. So now we've got left. Is there? And it should be. There's a top and a bottom. It comes in two halves. There should be a couple of tabs there. Good Benny. All right, now there should be another one. Got there. Now. Right. 
flipping heck. Clean and white. Old and mucky. <laughs> okay. Right then, first one. Oh, well, that one with a tab at the top. And we're going to fold that into that little square hole. So, well that's where it's going to go. I'm going to have to put you down. So I can use both hands. Put a bit of a bend in it first. And then it'll pop straight in. Right, I'm gonna make sure it's flat, otherwise the top one won't go back in. What are you doing that? I'm not really sure. So I get the far end in first, and now that should pop down. Oh, the only pop. Oh, it must have been. Yeah, I thought that bottom one flush with the plastic, but it doesn't look like it does. Right. See what I mean? I thought those terms would be level. Right, and then put it back in. Like that. Now, that's it. Apart from, I've got to put this bit back because I've taken it out by mistake. So I'm going to tussle with that for a while. Which way around does it go? Will you go that way? So this wasn't so take the notes here, this this isn't supposed to come out. You don't have to take this out. I have to say that went back better than I expected. And then that just leaves this bit. So that's a normal thing you'd see if you're doing it properly. Not like I do it. 
And now that bit that comes down there. That bit and connects to that. That bit. And sits on top of that bit down there and connects with that bit. Easy. Now I'll just uh, mess about with that for a minute. You talk amongst yourselves. Slides together. Is it up or down? I can't remember. Seems to have done this trick. Alright, that's that. Well, you just have to take that uh, that bit off there and get to the back of it. Many thanks to Steve for that. I'm glad somebody's been here and done this before me. Alright, I'm going to tighten those up and then. That bit goes back, it just goes over there, and then you shut the sink. Okay. Well, that was a blooming tussle, wasn't it? I went on the wrong track as usual. Should have looked on YouTube first. So if you want to do anything, check with YouTube first. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Now you make some air actually coming into the car now. It's always, always a possibility. Anyway, we've got to crack on. It's taking far longer than I expected it would. We were going to go out, um, but we're not now. I think it's too late. So, anyway, uh, good to see you all again. Uh, stay safe. Um, have Keep plenty of fuel in reserve, just in case. Um, no, I haven't. <laughs> never, never do. Just wing it. Let's just wing it, shall we? Anyway. Um, thanks for your comments, thanks for watching, and don't get lost or squashed, and I'll see you in a bit.